Get your free trial of our training for lawyers at www.teachucomp.com forward slash lawyers. You can use the Express Start feature to create a new company file. This feature simplifies and segments the steps in the Easy Step interview into more manageable sections so that you can get started with QuickBooks more quickly. When you first open QuickBooks, the option to create a company file using the Express Start feature is displayed in the QuickBooks Setup screen. Note that this is the same screen that opens if you select File and then choose the New Company command from the menu bar or if you simply click the Create a New Company button shown in the No Company Open window. If you wish to use the Express Start feature, then simply click the Express Start button within the QuickBooks Setup screen to begin. Also note that for advanced features in Setup, you can still use the Easy Step interview to more thoroughly customize your legal company file at startup. To do this, simply click the Advanced Setup button that is shown within the QuickBooks Setup screen instead. You can then use the Easy Step interview, which we will discuss in the next lesson, to create your company file. In the first Express Start screen, you enter your company's name as you wish it to appear to customers and vendors. Note that if you use a different name for legal and tax filings, you will actually enter that name into the third Express Start screen. Next, click the Help Me Choose hyperlink next to the Industry text box to open the Select Your Industry window. This window allows you to select your company files industry. Note that your industry choice will impact which features of QuickBooks are enabled and disabled, as well as determine the initial chart of accounts used by your company file. You can change these settings later if needed. Since we are creating a legal company, scroll through the industry list in the lower left corner until you find the legal services industry choice. Then click it to select it. The chart of accounts for a legal services company file will then appear in the window to the right for you to review if desired. Once you've made your industry selection, you can then click the OK button to return to the Express Start screen. Next, use the Company Type drop-down to select the legal structure of your company. This determines the tax-related settings for your company file. You can then enter your company's FEIN, or Federal Employer Identification Number, or your Social Security Number into the Tax ID field. You can then answer the Do You Have Employees question by selecting a choice from the adjacent drop-down menu. When finished, click the Continue button to move to the second Express Start screen. In this screen, you can enter your Intuit ID or the email address associated with your Intuit ID into the email address field. Note that you must be connected to the Internet for this part of the company file setup. If you do not have an Intuit account yet, then enter the business email address that you want to associate with your Intuit account. The account will then be created during this part of the process. The Intuit account links you to goods and services available through Intuit. Once you've entered your email address, you can then click the Validate button to continue. If you already have an Intuit account, then enter the associated password for the account or enter a new password for the account if you're creating a new Intuit account into the boxes that then appear. If you want to create both a local and online copy of your company file so that you can use QuickBooks Online, then leave the check in the checkbox that appears for Set up my company file locally and on Intuit's servers so that I can access QuickBooks features online. This is an optional step that will make a copy of your company file on both your local machine as well as on an Intuit server, which you can then sync in order to use QuickBooks features online. If you do not want this to occur, then uncheck the checkbox before clicking the Continue button. When you're ready to proceed, you would then click the Continue button. For this example, we're just going to go back and choose Other Options 
and set up on behalf of someone else so we can bypass that screen. In the third Express Start screen, you can enter your company's legal name used for legal and tax filings if it differs from the company name that you entered in the first screen. Then enter your company file's address information into the fields provided. You can also enter the company's phone, email, and website into the indicated fields of the same name. Now, when you're finished on this screen, you can then click the Preview Your Settings button to open the Preview Your Company Settings window, where you can review your company file's default settings. On the Features Selected tab, you can see which features will be turned on and off by default. Note that you can change these later if needed. You can click the Chart of Accounts tab to review the accounts that will be used by your company file. You can check any accounts that you wish to add or remove the check from the checkbox for any accounts that you want to remove. You can click the Company File Location tab to view the directory where QuickBooks will save your company file. If needed, you can click the Change Location button to open a Browse for Folder dialog box where you can choose where to save the local copy of your company file. Now when you're finished, click the OK button within the Preview Your Company Settings window to return to the Express Start screen. Then click the Create Company File button to create your company file. Next, you can then add the customers, products, services, and bank accounts used by your company by simply clicking the Add button in the respective sections within the window that appears. You can also click the Start Working button within that same window to close the window and return to add these items to your lists at a later point in time if desired. Like what you see? Get your free trial of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash lawyers.